The last couple of days of Supercard have certainly been interesting. Lots going on, lots of fan feedback, very vocal opinions about pretty much everything, and some decisions that didn't please people. Oh, and QR codes, because whenever Cat and Daddy screw up, you, you gotta have a QR code to satisfy people before riots break out. So what's happened? First of all, the battle pass dropped, and I want to give a quick shout out, by the way, to a absolute legend, literally legend, legend killer gifted me the battle pass so i can show you the rewards that are in it which uh, a bit a bit interesting a response to but we'll come back to gifting battle passes because we need to talk about what's inside it we got rear ripley and people's response to this rear ripley card have been mixed some are saying it looks like ruby soho which i really don't get so i'm not liking the kind of futuristic style of it it looks like some kind of neo tokyo kind of design it feels like they ripped it from that one 2k20 dlc that no one played which did look interesting by the way, although Nia Jax is a robot, AI was something. And some people are rightly saying, well, why are we paying for a card that one isn't as good as others? I disagree, but I can understand where people are coming from. Some even went on to say the card was AI based, which is like, dude, it's got two eyes and five fingers. That immediately disqualifies it as being AI. But at the end of the day, you can just say no to buying a battle pass, which if you did say no to buying a battle pass, of getting this interesting design of Rhea Ripley, you can at least win one for free because I'm going to carry over what Legend Killer did for you guys in the video. It's real simple. All you've got to do is comment down below what was the best battle pass card so far so we're going all the way back to trish stratus last year of wrestlemania because this is the literally one year anniversary of the battle passes so leave the best card in the comments down below then make sure you have subscribed to the channel and hit the thumbs up button because one it helps me and it helps you and you might win something which is great and i'll pick one person to carry that gifted battle pass over to to win a free one so you don't have to buy the battle pass you get it free instead and hey a pro female is a pro female i mean if you complain about that then just wait to the end of the tier because that's where it's gonna be anyway more than likely in an event talking of events yeah more controversy ring domination started which is for the yeet master himself Jay Uso. And when it showed up, it was an interesting time because a change that was supposed to have take place later on in the month or in the next ring domination ended up going into place early, showing everyone started on their current tier card at the beginning of ring domination. So that means if you're in WrestleMania 40, then you'd start on WrestleMania 40, skipping the Raw Rumble card completely, which is where you usually start. If you're in Tundra, you would start on Tundra instead of Crucible, etc. Meaning you've skipped an entire card, making the event a lot easier, especially for free to play players. And it was universal universally greeted with open arms everyone was happy about it. wow this is a really good positive change then the day after happened and whoops it was a mistake apparently it wasn't supposed to happen as said by zach the community manager for supercard hey we appreciate your feedback on this week's ring domination we encountered a visual issue in which the preview for the event made it appear as though you would start the event on a card of your rarity as opposed to one before as per usual now not all mistakes are bad things my parents tell me that all the time so i'm not sure why they couldn't keep this in place but they go on to say that this was not the intended outcome of the mode so we switched it back boo this game boo launching ring domination in that way would have caused a host of unforeseen issues what like you guys getting less money for doublers yeah okay i see where you're coming from that said we are experimenting with starting events on a card of your rarity on occasion in the future hence the visual issue cats out of the bag we're glad to hear that it's a change you'd enjoy so while we're sorry that we can't deliver it this week you can look forward to starting an occasional event on a card of your rarity in the future. Can we get one of these that says that War Games is trash and it's going in the bin where it belongs? Or that we can get rid of trash of champions, please? That'd be really cool. Okay, I'm joking, but seriously, can you guys fix those modes? Because neither of them are fun. In fact, why do we need Clash of Champions when we've got PCC around? I mean, literally, 
They're the same mode, kinda. But to repeat myself, not all mistakes are a bad thing because they did then drop a QR code for everyone to get some free ring domination doublers just to say, hey, sorry for the confusion, you know, still give us your money. And if you scan this QR code that's on the screen right now, you will grab yourself 12, I believe, ring domination doublers. It's better than a slap to the face. Why do I use that as a... I'm going to have to say something else. Maybe a fish to the face or a punch to the groin. I don't know. Kick in the nuts. But they didn't stop there because as a result of us hitting a specific community goal, they stated on Twitter, X, whatever you wanted. By the way, you can find me on Super Zamaga Barbecue on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. Seriously, it's such a stupid name. If we completed that goal, we'd get a special reward and it was to do with unlocking variants. So they gave us this QR code, which actually, believe it or not, some recently have been a little bit lacking. This one, actually not too bad. And I'll show you why, because this is apparently going to help out with scavenger hunt and block bash amongst giving you some credits and a Cody Rhodes card. Now, it's believed that Cody Rhodes card could be anything from Crucible to WrestleMania 40. So we will have to check that out now when we scan it. But two QR codes on the same day, it's like Christmas just without the mistakes that go before it. Apparently there's another one, and if it does result in a QR code, you'll see it's in the community section on YouTube. But let's see how much adrenaline is in this pack. It is a, it's a spray can. I've got a Tundra as well, which is nice. I have seen people get Crucibles as well. And it's a, it's a great card. I love the image, and it works really well with the WrestleMania 41. There we go, Cody Rhodes. If you got something better, let me know in the comment section down below. But that leads us nicely on to the fusion. We're going to complete my first couple of fusions for the brand new set that dropped literally yesterday. Now there's an interesting selection of cards here, but they all tag, which is the main thing. Well, the men's do anyway. Most interesting is we've got two Shawn Michaels cards in there, but only one for Triple H. It must be Tommaso Ciampa hiding that other Triple H. I mean, come on, what do you gotta do that? Let's get our first fusion, what is it? It is J Johnny, I mean, Shawn Michaels. Jokes aside, I love what R-Truth is doing with these guys at the moment, and I like what the fusions look like. I'm not a huge fan of the pro animation, but I do like the initial design, and, you know, any Johnny Gargano card's a good card. Can we get a pro, though? We'll have to wait and see in 290 credits time. Let's go, baby. Is it a Johnny Gargano pro? It is Bronson, big Bronson Reed. Another Aussie, Aussie's all the rage world until Rhea Ripley got injured. Let's not talk about that because it's, it's a sore point, okay? Let's complete another one. This is the third fusion I'm gonna do. And it's Bianca Belair, nice. Big fan of that one. Nia Jax is the other card that's on this. I'm gonna do one more fusion because it's Fusion Friday, and then we're gonna call it and grab our event we were talking about, Clash of Champions, which I have a massive disdain for. I really don't like playing it, but I have to because we're making content. I'm gonna grab those rewards. Is it a pro? Come on, baby. It is, ah, uh, it's another Johnny Gaga. I mean, it's another Shawn Michaels and a great image because it's old school. I actually don't know the last time we got a recent Shawn Michaels image. We get lots of the old school ones. That's my fourth single. So I think I'll just lay off the fusions. I think I've got enough cards this tier to chill out on. One of which I'm actually gonna go grab now. I said Clash of Champions. We did manage to get ourselves an LA Knight. You guys are supposed to say, yeah. there we go. That's better. We did rank 626, which is okay. I'm, I'm kind of okay with. I mean, which one did you go for? Let me know whether it's AJ Styles or LA Knight. I know majority of people went with LA Knight and he's about to join my deck. But if you want to see more Supercard cards and codes, then go to this video just up here where we actually talk about how to do block bash before the event ends and the scavenger hunt where i got myself bianca belair or maybe you're interested in that ichiban hulk hogan card which is just down at the bottom go check that out for 2k24 until next time though laters